Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how you can set up custom music on a music disc here inside of Minecraft and including doing a custom disc as you can see right there and even custom name for that disc. Let's go ahead and just try this out real fast. There we go and custom name right there. This is a fairly straightforward and easy to do resource pack. Let's switch over to the desktop and begin working on this. And the first thing you'll need is to have a place to build your resource pack in. I just made a folder on my C drive here. I called it pack, just a blank folder. And inside here I have my song. This is a different song that we just heard. Let me just play this in real fast for you. It's kind of a fun walking around song. We'll use that one. Now I'm playing these things in the VLC media player. That's why you have this cone shape here. If you're using a different media player, you'll have a different icon. So don't worry about the icon. If you want, you can also make a custom pack.png image. I'll put a link in the description on how I made this one right here. But basically, this is just a 128 by 128 image. It's a PNG square image. You can go double that size if you want to, 256 by 256 for a bit more detail. But that's all that is. Nothing special about that. And it's named pack.png. Next, we need to get some files. And for that, let's bring up the launcher. Here we go. Here's the Minecraft launcher. And right now I'm in 120.4 right there. Go up here where it says installations. And here's the latest release. And click on the folder icon right here. This opens up the Minecraft folder. And here, let's scroll down until you get to versions. Right here, go into versions. Then you want to find that 120.4. And that's right there. Okay, open this thing up. And you should see two files in here. One's going to be a jar file and one is a JSON file. If you don't see that jar or that JSON, then you need to enable file name extensions. I'm in Windows 11 right now, and for Windows 11, go to View, come down to Show, and it's right there. Make sure that this is checked, and you'll then see that .jar and that .json. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the View tab, and on the right-hand side, put a check next to File Name Extensions. Same thing. And we want this .jar file right here. So I'm going to copy this over. Let's just bring this folder up again. There we go. I'm just going to right-drag it over here and copy. Don't move it. That can mess up your Minecraft. Just copy it and get this out of the way. We can get the launch out of the way as well. There we go. Now this is a file that holds all of these resources for Minecraft, but we have to have this as a zip file. Luckily this already is a zip. It just says .jar. The icon there is just a Java icon because .jar is a Java programming file. So click in the name once, click a second time, and you can then just type over that jar and make it say zip. Click outside, get this warning, choose yes. It's now a zip file. Now I want to open this thing up in a new window. So right click on this and open in new window. And that'll just float on top as you can see right here. There we go. Now if you don't want to use a custom pack PNG, and this only shows up when you're activating your resource packs, it doesn't show up anyplace else. If you want just the regular icon file, that's right on this folder here. I'm going to scroll down real fast down here. It's way down towards the bottom, almost all the way to the bottom, not quite. And it's right here, pack.png. This is that dirt block file. And that's the regular vanilla one. But I'll stick with my custom one. And let's go back up here to the top again. Let's now go into the assets folder, into the Minecraft folder. And there are several folders in here. We have one for lang. We have one for textures. We're also going to be needing a new one for sound. So we'll be making some of these things. But first, let's start off with this lang one. I'll go into the lang file. And this just has this enus.json file. This is because I'm in the US. So I want to take this lang file and copy it over here. I'm just going to right drag it over here and copy. Next, we have textures. Let's go into textures, into item. And in here, I'm just going to change my view. Let's make this list, make it easier. There we go. We can see a lot more. And I'll scroll over. We want to find the music discs in here. There's the music discs. Now, I want to use the longest song that there is. And that's because in Minecraft right now, whatever song you add into this, whatever song you replace, it's only going to be playing as long as the original track, the original song. So you want the longest one that you can get, and that's this blocks disc right here. So I want to have this image. I'm going to just drag it over here and drop it. There's the image for blocks. We'll be changing that to something else. And while we're right here, let's begin setting up our folders for this. And then these will be going into our new folders. So go up here to new folder. First one is assets. Let's go inside this new folder. Second one is Minecraft. There we go. Inside of this one, New folder, textures, and inside of textures, new folder, item. You can see that right up here in that zip file. And that's where this image is. So when we make our new one, 
it'll go inside of this folder right in here. Okay, it's back up here to our pack. So we have the folder for this. In the length folder, we can just copy this over. Let's just drag it into Assets inside of here. Drag it into Minecraft. And that's where that one sits. That's all set to go. Now in here, we need to have another folder. So click here, New Folder. First one is Sounds. Let's go inside of Sounds. New Folder. And this one is Records. So our new record is going to be going inside of this folder right in here. Okay, so the folders are all set up and ready to go inside the assets. And we're done with the zip file. We can just close that down. Now you can delete this if you want to or just hang on to it. You may want to do something else, a different kind of resource pack. I'll just leave mine there, but we're done with this for this project. And we'll need one more thing here for the resource pack aside from working on our files. And that is the pack.mc meta file. Now that used to be included in the jar file, you know, which is now the zip file. It no longer is. They stopped doing that back in 118. But I've put that on my website. Let me bring that up so I can download that. In this right here, this is the Minecraft pack.mc meta. I'll put this link in the description so you can go right to this page. This is what the code actually is right here in case you're curious. But I made it real easy. You can just download the file right here. Just click on the one that you need for your version of Minecraft. We're in 124, so that's the one I clicked on right here. And just download it into the same folder. Choose Save. That's all done. We can close this out of the way. Okay. And here's the pack. Now just open this up and copy out that file. So I'll just right click, open a new window, and take it and just drag it over here. And there we go. Okay, get that out of the way. We're done with that. You can now delete this one. We don't need that anymore. And here's the pack MC Meta. Now I edit my pack MC Meta files inside of Notepad. That's why it has this icon right here. You can use other code editors, but I think that Notepad is the best one for working with Minecraft and it's free. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Let's open this thing up. Double click. There we go. Now for 120.4, the pack format is 22. Make sure that stays the same. And then give it a description up here so you know what this thing is. I'll just call it custom record pack. And I'll put the number up here. That way I know what it is. Okay. Choose save. And that's done. So we're all taken care of with that. We now have all of our pieces. And we can begin working on this file. The first thing we'll do is to change the name that shows up in the game. And that's over here in assets. Minecraft, Lang, and that's the language file right here. Again, if you're in a different country from the US, you'll have a different language file to edit. If you want to find out where you can find those language files, I'll put a link for my video about that in the description. And I have this thing opening up inside of Notepad++. Let's just change this view so it's easier to see that. There we go. Bring this up and then do a search for music. Go up here to search and find and music right there. And then you're looking for this section here where it has all these music discs listed. Now we're changing the disk name blocks because that has the longest time to it. Let me bring up a little list on these things so you can see what our times are. In this right here, here's all the different songs that are included in 120.4. And the longest one here is blocks. We're changing this one to give us the most time available for our new record. Okay, let's get that out of the way. I'll put a download link for that file if you want to have that as well. So we want this section here. Now notice that there are two parts. One just says blocks and one says blocks description right here. Now the blocks, this part is what shows in the inventory. When you roll over the disk in the inventory, that's what shows. This is what shows when you put the disk into the jukebox. That's what kind of floats in midair there. So I want to change both of these to something else. And the song I'm using is called a spring in your step. I'm just going to call this one spring step like that. And since I'll be doing the same song, let's just select that and copy and I'll go over here and then right click and we'll paste that. There we go. So we've now changed the text that shows up in the game. And then save the file, save, and that's done. That part of it is all taken care of. We go back to our pack. Let's now take care of the music disc, the look on this thing. We're going to be up resing this a little bit. So this is a 16 by 16 image. I'm going to double that size to 32 by 32, give us a bit more detail and a smoother edge on it. These things have a real blocky edge. You can use anything you want to change this image. The only thing is that whatever you use has to have transparency. So you can't use the standard Windows Paint program that does not have transparency. It also has to be able to save to the PNG file, but almost everything else will. Windows Paint 3D works. That can save to PNG and that also has transparency. So use whatever editor that you like to do this. And next, let's find a new image here for our disk. And for that, let's go over here to this website. It's called Pixabay. Loads and loads of free images here. Just click into here and let's just do disk. That should work fine. Hit the enter key and lots of different disks in here. Not really sure why those mushrooms are showing up. More disks down here. This is kind of like what they use inside of Minecraft because it is designed to look like a 45 record. 
Anything that's round is fine. Even this would be fine. It's really up to you, whatever you want to use. I like these ones that are round like this. I think it looks better than the flattened version. That's kind of fun, retro. Let's use this one. Let's right click, open a new tab. Here we go, and we'll download this image and download right here. Now we just need a small image. We'll be taking this thing down to 32 by 32, so it's a real small image. So just grab the smallest one and then download this back into your pack folder. Right here, choose save, and that's done. Okay, we can close all that down. And here's our new image that we'll be using for this. Now all we need to do is to bring the size down and then rename it to match this one and make sure that we have transparency in the background. I'll just resize this in paint.net and I have that right over here. There we go, bring this up in paint.net and there it is. Go up here to image, come down to resize and then just put your new size in here. The width is going to be 32. I'll let the height drop into whatever it is, that's just fine. I like the resampling at nearest neighbor on this. This keeps everything real sharp and all that looks good, choose okay. There's our new file size at that size. And we'll just save that. And that's good. Okay, let's go back over here again. There's our new one. You can see it's about four times larger than that. And that's the right size. Now I need to have this one, this name over here. But I can't name them both in the same folder. So I'm just going to take this one. I'll drag it over here onto the assets folder. Let's now copy this name. Just click in there once, click a second time, and then select it all. Right click and copy. Go into assets. Notice that we did download the PNG file. That's what we need. Let's select that and then paste. It's now named the right name and we'll drag it into the right location. So into Minecraft, go in here and then up into the textures folder and inside of here up into the item folder. And that's all set to go. Okay, it's back out of here. Last thing left to do is the audio file right here. Now I like to edit my audio files in Audacity. It's another great free program. I'll put a link for that in the description. So I'll bring that up and here we are. It's version 3.4.2 right now. Then we'll get our sound file in here and that's easy to do. I'll just drag and drop. Just drag it like that and drop it in. There we go. Now this is a stereo file and we need to have this in mono. You can either do that as a separate step. A lot of programs will do that. Or in Audacity we can convert this to mono at the same time that we're saving it out to the AUG format. So we'll do the whole thing over here under the file menu. Come down to export audio. So the first thing here is just to rename this and we're going to be replacing blocks like that. Let's put it into the right folder. Click on browse. And we're going all the way here into the sounds and records folder. It goes right here, choose save. Format is AUG Vorbis files, and we're saving it in mono right there. And that's all set to go. File name, folder, format, and mono. Choose export, and that's done. We can now close this down. This is double check that, go into assets, Minecraft, sounds, records, and there we go. Okay, we're now all set to compile this into a zip file. We want the assets folder, hold the control key down. We want that pack.mc meta and that pack PNG file. Those three things. Right click, compress to zip file. Let's give it a name. I'll just call it custom record 120.4 since I know what that is. This is in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, you also can go up to the share tab at the top and click on zip up there at the share tab. Let's now get this over into the game. And for that, we need to open up the launcher again. And here's the launcher. Go into installations, latest release. Click on that folder icon right there like we did before. This time we want to have this going into the resource packs folder. Double click and we'll put it right here. Let's put that there. Here's our working folder right there. There's our custom record. Just drag and drop. That's now in the game. Close these things down. We now can play the game and test this out. Click on play. Let this load in Minecraft. I've done a few custom things here to the menu screen. I have custom splash up here, custom title across the top, custom colors in here. If you want to find out anything about those, I'll put links for this stuff in the description. Also a custom panorama in the background. So all those links are in the description. Let's come down here to options and resource packs. We'll find our new pack right here, custom record 120. Click on the arrow, bring it over here. And just get this one out of the way. That was our sample one. So here's our new custom record. Choose done and done again. Single player, go into my main world right here. And I closed down the other texture pack so we're not seeing that down here in the inventory. But you can see right here, there is our new image. That's looking good. You go ahead and find that one. And it's in tools. There we go, spring step. Name is working correctly, bring it down here. Name works good right there, that's fine. You can see it in our hand. Let's double check that. There we go, in the hand, just fine, perfect. 
Let's now test it out in the jukebox. Give that a shot. And there's a new music. And as you saw, we have the right name showing up there as well. There it is, there's a new name. Okay, that's all working perfectly. So that's all there is to putting a custom song onto one of the discs here inside of Minecraft. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to click on subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.